In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this professional landing page in MailChimp. As you can see, everything is on one page. It looks very professional and eye-catchy and also very easy to create. A landing page is nothing more than a place where people do something to say I'm interested in your stuff. So say for example, you're offering a free webinar, a PDF download, video series, advice, a free product, whatever it is. So you're offering something that is valuable and in return you get people's email address and maybe first name or other information. If you want to create a landing page with MailChimp, the first step is to make sure that you have an audience list. This is where you can store all of your contacts in MailChimp. To create one, just in case you don't have a audience list, let me show you how to do that. So I'm logged into my MailChimp account. So up here at the header is where all of the magic happens. Uh, what you need to do is click on audience and then you need to click on create audience. As of recently, MailChimp only allows you to create one audience list. So if you already have a audience list, you won't be able to create more than one. So just be aware of that. Now, if you don't have an audience list, this is what you need to do. You need to complete the details here. For audience name, I've put Natural Vita Newsletter. Then you need a default email address. I've put here my Gmail address, but if you have a website email address, that's better because it's more professional, obviously. Your default name, use something that is recognizable to your subscribers. Obviously you need to put your address, that's mandatory. For form settings, I'm not enabling any of these. And then I'm going to save. And that's it. I've created my list and now I can create a landing page. So now to create a landing page, Again, you want to go up here to the header menu and click on campaigns and then click on create campaigns on the top right hand corner and then click on the link landing page. So you want to give your landing page a name. I'm going to call this 15 free healthy recipes. I'm the only one that's going to see this. This is for reference purposes. So put anything in there that will help you recognize what this landing page is about. And for my audience, I'm choosing the audience that I've just created. And then I'm going to click on begin. All right, so the template that I'm going to choose is one of these down here, but unfortunately it doesn't allow me to scroll down for some reason. If you're experiencing the same problem, what you can do is just zoom out a bit until you can see all of the templates on your screen. And the one that I want to select is the grow your list template. So this is the one that I'm going to select. So this is the naked template that we can customize. So actually what I want to do is to add an image at the back here. To do that, I'm going to click on design and then click on page. If you don't want to add an image, but simply change the background color, to do that, you simply click here in the color box and then choose the color that you want to change it to. For example, let's say light blue. We can do that by dragging it up here to light blue and then moving the circle here as well, and it will change automatically. So that's how to change the background color. I'm going to choose add an image instead. Now, if you want to upload an image to your MailChimp library, click on the upload link up here on the top right hand corner. This is the background image that I want to use for my landing page. So I'm going to select it and open. There are two really neat websites that I recommend for quality images and also for editing your images. The first website is pixabay.com and this is a website where you can find millions of images for absolutely free and they are super high quality and also tons of variety as well. And then you have canva.com. Canva.com is a really neat website where you can create different designs. For example, if I just click on create design, you can see that you can use it to create business cards, invitations, Facebook ads, logos, YouTube thumbnails, YouTube channel arts. I mean, the options are absolutely endless. So you can see that the image has been uploaded to the MailChimp library. If I select it by clicking on it, I can also click on the arrow pointing down and then click on edit image. And this is where you can also make modifications to your image as well. For example, you can edit the size of your image by clicking on crop or resize. You can also do other modifications here. I like the image as it is, so I'm going to close and click on insert. So you can see that the size dimensions for this image is 1280 by 720. I used Canva to resize this image. 
The reason why I chose these size dimensions is that it fits nicely on one page and people don't need to scroll down and down and down before they can access this part here, which is the important bit. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to add a logo. If you don't have a logo, you can simply delete this box by clicking on the bin icon and then click on delete. If you have a logo, then you click on the pencil icon or you can also click in the box to add your logo. So I'm going to click in the box. Then I'm going to click on replace. I'm going to upload my logo, select the logo and insert it. The size dimensions for my logo is 100 by 100. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down and the next thing is to add a big enticing headline which goes here. So again, I'm going to click on the pencil icon. I'm going to select this and delete it. So make sure that your message is short to the point and that it contains relevant keywords. In my case, it would be free, the word free, healthy, vegan and recipes. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to change the font style. So I'm going to select all of the text, I'm going to go to font here. And I'm going to scroll down and choose dancing script. All right, that looks good. And then I'm going to save and close. The next step is to add a bit more information. So again, I'm going to click in the box and you can see here, it says use this space to tell people what they get for signing up. All right, so this is the bit more information that I want to add. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to make it slightly bigger. I'm going to choose the size 19. I also want to center it, so I'm going to select it and I'm going to click on the center icon. And then I'm going to click on save and close. The next thing we want to do is to edit the email address field. So I'm going to click in the box. I'm going to check the box first name. And that means that people have to fill in their first name and email address. The reason for this is because I want to have the option of adding people's first name when I send out email campaigns to my subscribers, just to make it more personal. You can also ask for people's last name, address or phone number. I don't really recommend this just because you want to keep it as simple and as straightforward as possible. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to change what it says here to get access. And also I'm going to change the background color to something that is a little bit more eye catchy. To do that, I'm going to click on style up here. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says background. I'm going to click in the color box. I'm going to choose orange for this example. Now I'm going to click on content again. And for the final step, we're going to change the confirmation message. So if I click on preview confirmation message, so you can see that when people fill in their email address and first name, this is the confirmation message they get success. You've been added to the audience. I want to change that to something different. And also I want to add a link to my free recipe book. If you don't want to send a confirmation message, but rather you want to redirect people to a website, for example, you can do that as well by changing this here. So if you click on the arrow pointing down where it says send to and select web address. So this is where you can add your website address, for example, or redirect people to any page where you've got their free gift. In my case, I'm going to select confirmation message because that's what I want to do. I want to send a confirmation message after they subscribe. So I'm changing the confirmation message to say, thank you for signing up. Click here to get access to your free recipes. And uh, this is also where I'm going to attach the free PDF file with the recipes. To do that, I'm going to select the word here. Then I'm going to click on the link icon. So where it says link to select the arrow pointing down and choose file. And then you want to upload your free gift. So in my case, that would be 15 free recipes, which is in a PDF format. And then I'm going to insert it. Then I'm going to click on insert. All right, so this is the link. So once I'm happy with this, I can save and close. The final thing that we can do is to preview our landing page. To do that, click on preview on the top right hand corner. This is how it looks on desktop and this is how it looks on mobile. Now I'm going to X out and I'm going to save and close. There are two more things that I need to do before I can publish my landing page. The first is to add a page title. So I'm going to click on the link. So my page title is 15 free healthy recipes. I'm going to save that. 
and then I need to add a URL. So again, I'm going to click on the link. So for the first option, we'll need to upgrade our account. And for the second option, which is use a MailChimp domain, this is the free option. So we're going to go with this one. And all we need to do is to add our bit at the end here. So I'm going to put something like, so I'm going to save this. All right, so this is it. We have completed all of the necessary fields. All we need to do is now publish the landing page. So I'm going to click on publish. Yay. So this is our landing page published. So we can share this link on all of our social media platforms, for example, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the link in a separate window and I'm just going to test it to see if it works. Then I'm going to click on get access. There you go. So this is the confirmation message. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go back to my MailChimp account. So click on campaigns on the header menu. If I scroll down, you can see this is the landing page that I've just created. This is the link for it. And this is where I can make modifications to it if I click on edit. Also, you can see that I have one subscriber, which is myself. I've just subscribed and um, it gives me more statistics here. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I think I've covered pretty much everything that you need to know about how to create a landing page with MailChimp. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Also share and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.